Channel 3's Bailey Ordonda was at today's ceremony and joins us now live with more. Bailey, this is uh, kind of exciting. John, Karen, all of Coachella Valley, listen, I know a lot of you have seen this driving by on I-10. I know a lot of you have heard of this by now, but at today, Acrisure Arena is making tremendous strides. Today was the final beam placement, as you guys alluded to, but we were also given an exclusive premiere tour inside the arena. And let me tell you, the potential for what is to come at this arena is thrilling. Yeah, there's a lot of potential use for this space besides just hockey. Talk about an exciting future ahead of Acrisure Arena. This project you see off I-10 is now at the halfway point, and we got an exclusive look on the progress of the new level of entertainment coming to Coachella Valley. The main entrance, it might be hard to believe right now with the massive dirt piles and construction equipment, but at the end of the day, this will be the main entrance. It'll be a nice plaza area, palm trees, nice shade canopy, and this is where you'll You'll enter to, to find your seat. And when stepping inside the arena, you feel the intimacy. There is truly no bad view in the house. And they designated the seating for fans to be right up in the action. Yeah, so actually what you're seeing here is, is the uh, lower bowl seating will continue all the way down to right about here where I'm standing. Oh, so, so rink side seats here, Yep. rink right here. Right, yep. Getting a tour around the whole facility really opened my eyes to the depth of this arena. Plus, Acrisure will have options for those who want to watch in style. Yep, this is suite level, premium level. So as you see uh, here, the suites will continue all the way around here, all the way around this upper level. On the two ends are extra large suites, and all the others are, are, are standard suites, same size. We also were shown a few other items, yeah. such as the home locker room. The before shot and after, we're going to be able to have all the players' lockers lined up across the wall. That's where players will get ready before games, and the practice rink. And there is no hockey without ice. 12 miles, I think, of underground piping we got to put in here. Oh, wow. For the whole ice system, yeah. The icing on the cake. Oh, right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. We, we, we've always felt very good about uh, about this project and we have a very strong team here, so we, we've uh, been very lucky so far. It's gone well. It all started with the vision, and again, just the potential, the excitement behind us at Acrisure Arena is really starting to ramp up now that we're at the halfway point. And again, we're not just going to see hockey in there, but all sorts of entertainment. And John and Karen, I know we're looking forward to the end of the year when this arena opens up too, but I'm also looking forward to how the heck are they going to get that ice in there? Well, 12 <laughs> miles of pipes, that's how they're going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Thank Your you. guess is as good as mine, guys. Thanks, Thank you, Bailey. Baby.